Hey, Dan, Brad, how's your Wednesday? We've been All right. Here. Scott, good Wednesday to you. Dear Brad, bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour. Good Wednesday to you. Thank you, sir. And to the hundreds in attendance today and thousands that will be tuning in post-production, a merry Wednesday. And ladies and gentlemen, I mean, Brad and I have said this before, you could be getting the best Q&A webinar ever. Possibly. Usually right? it's you saying that, but uh, I'm here, yeah. What? Oh, you're saying because you're here, it's the best Q&A webinar? I'm not, I'm just saying you say that. I don't know, guys. All right. Let's get ready. First with the disclaimer. Don't believe anything these guys. Oh, wait, sorry. That's not what the disclaimer says. Um, Trade Ideas is not a registered investment advisor. All the information that you are receiving from Trade Ideas is for educational purposes only. If you are looking for specific tailor-made investment advice for you, please consult a registered investment advisor, which we are not. All right. Um, once again, we start this uh, Q&A with the basics of how cool is this software and all the things that it can do. It is really your slicer, dicer of the stock market to be able to present information in any way, shape, or form. Things you're not going to find anywhere else, not in TradingView, not in TC2. I think, I think you, do you want to share your screen? No. Okay, no worries. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You sound good. Thank you. Thank you. As I was saying before, Trade Ideas on the web, Trade Ideas Pro, is a technology suite that is going to allow you to see information that you are not going to get anywhere else from any other vendor. And that's it. That's all we have for the presentation today. <clears throat> uh, bonjour. Okay. So we've talked about this before. The idea at the bottom of this presentation, and this is just the beginning because, guys, this is, listen, it's going to get good. Just give me a little time here to just warm my French up. But the basic concept is you can see virtually any situation in the market in real time, which is something that you can only do at Trade Ideas and not at other, other vendors. That's what's exciting. So with that, I'm going to come back to this beautiful presentation. And again, lots of examples that Brad has provided when I was absent. When I was absent and Brad, who lacks the kind of creativity and freestyle flow of presenting that I do, has to use visual aids. I right? like, you know, I like to have a few slides at my disposal. And you know, not a Ferriot style, but you know. No, you're right. Not 30, just a couple. Just a couple. But these are the examples. You understand we have several different ways that you can view the data, okay? We have the top lists, which sort the information. These are sorting lists, and there's a T on the upper left-hand side of the window. We have alert windows, which are streaming real-time notifications, and we have multi-strategy windows, which, which are a canvas where you can drop in a number of different alerts together. So as to save real estate and, again, just very cool, innovative stuff. But I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to come back to it, but I'm going to minimize this because Brad and I, we really want to talk to you about, well, this is the Q&A webinar. So we're going to talk to you about a couple of things that are going to be coming up and things that are, we're going to be discussing at our very big event that's going to be on the 26th. That's in three days in San Diego. Hopefully some of you will be attending. For those that are not attending, we will have a live stream of this, but I'm going to give you kind of a preview of some of the things that I'm going to be talking about and uh, the things that we are just very excited about. Okay, let me uh, pull this up. So Brad, when you and I were talking about this earlier, we were talking about a tale of two trades. Would you like to expand on this just a little bit? Because I felt like you brought something really good to the presentation. I don't want to steal your thunder per se, but when you and I spoke first, because you and yeah, I which was we probably were, like a little bit after nine o'clock our time, right? It was well, we spoke about it right a little bit after nine o'clock our time, and this is the time you see on my screen here. 
right? At this time, because we were both, we watched the AI, and this is the AI is right here. This is our Omni view of the artificial intelligence, which is your signal generator, your trading strategy coach, your handicapper, all these beautiful things put into one. So in this time, I had a signal for a buy in MLNT at, what is it, 8.13 p.m., it's right here. The entry price was 517. And as Brad and I were watching it, you know, we kind of caught it somewhere around here. We we're like, oh my goodness, this thing just went straight up. And how, what was the percentage when we when we sold right here at five? Yeah, I mean, I think so. Six or seven percent. But it was just a beautiful move. And you guys can see what happened here. Okay. And it was an entry and an exit. Boom. Okay. Then what happened here, Brad? Well, I think that was, another, that was another strategy. That was another strategy that decided that was Count, Count de Monet, speaking of the French. Um, Count de Monet generated this particular signal, which was similar to the earlier one, a completely different strategy, looking for a different type of setup. But nevertheless, it generated this idea as well. And it seemed to kind of maybe lose a few pennies on it before it exited out of it. Well, approximately seven uh, in risk off mode. Yep. Um, and and when Brad and I looked at this later at the close, we were looking at it in a different viewpoint um, because look what happened like, you know, throughout the day here, 517 and where did this thing close? 470 or something, you know, something to that effect. So it almost looked like, because again, when I looked at it, I didn't, I remembered that this was very good. So in full risk mode, in other words, if you held it the whole time from here to here, you would have lost 9%. So Brad, I mean, I, I, I'm trying to remember the verbiage that you used. Well, I think what we were talking about is that it wasn't so much kind of a black and white way to look at a trade so much you know, you're going to hold it to the either to the end of the day or you're going to hold it to a certain particular time period. There's a whole day that takes place and transpires, you know, during that market day. And, and as a trader, you have to be willing to pull the trigger and get out of something if that's the type of exposure that you want to have. Otherwise, you have to be willing to hold something. You know, I, that's not the way that we are here at Trade Ideas. And that's why we put in these stops and we make sure that you're not going to be holding one of these positions as it just completely goes against you. And we provide you that visual analysis there over on the chart as well. So the, the interesting thing is, so if you talk about the entry price of 517 and the exit price of 549, right? I think, what is that, 40 cents, right? Yeah, a little bit less. A, a, a little bit less, and then you subtract the seven cents here, you still have a very good percentage winner. So in other words, if you follow just these two and didn't hold it the whole day, you know, with your eyes closed, which is what the industry teaches you to do, you had still a very, very solid percentage opportunity. And I think the thing that Brad and I are trying to communicate is the stock market is such that Hardly ever do you have situations where it just you get in and it only goes in the direction of the trade. So from that point of view, it's your ability to manage your emotions and let things happen to you that where you where your emotions sync up with your risk management. Is that maybe the right way to say it, Brad? It's the yeah, fusion. that sounds good. Go go to interestingly go to the next symbol AVDL on your list right there, and I think that was probably a completely different type of experience where you know once you got in, it stayed above the major moving average and just continued its trend. But you know they're not all like that. Well, they're right. So Brad is giving you an example of by the way where you know you could have gotten in here at 371 and pretty much held it all day until the last uh what is it 10 15 minutes where you were up a, a pretty significant 30 like to four i mean 40 cents approximately on a three dollar stock i mean you're talking about you know 10 percent almost and this is the whole day 
but it doesn't happen that way all the time. And, and these are the trade-offs, right? This is where you have to say to yourself, and again, we're not saying that we know exactly what it is, but we're trying to show you the conundrum of the investor. Because so the I, just had a, uh, I just had a, a price alert generate in Tesla, and I know we were talking about that earlier where they're reporting earnings and having set up that price alert, not having been listening to the call, I immediately alerted to the fact that they just reported and there's some activity going on. Wow. Hopefully somebody wasn't shorted, like myself. <laughs> so that's a very big post market uh, gain there for the old test. Let me see here. So up 44. So notice what I did. It's another thing to uh, showcase again the value of the technology, and we're going to talk a little bit about. Uh, so let me do something real quick. Just so how would Brad have known this if he didn't set the alert? I mean, this is another important thing for those that aren't into the trade ideas, you know, thing, right? So how would you know, Brad? Well, right away, if you switch to the after hours channel, which is what we have here, right? This is the after hours channel. What's first on your radar? There it is. There it is. So make sure you guys know that there's so many different, I mean, we've already set this up. This is trade ideas is the Netflix without all the nastiness, the Netflix of the stock market where we have channels designed to keep you in the loop of what's happening. And they're already pre-made. Lots of people are scared to get into our software. Like, Oh my gosh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to figure it out. There's so much stuff and, and all this, but we've already done it all for you. We have done it all here in order for you to have caught this tesla of course we've been you know talking right but if all you had to have done is after the market it closed you simply would have just had to have been on this after hours page knowing that it was going to report and how would you know that it was going to report today at post market Brad? uh from our single stock earnings filter how about that one and That's we have right. made a change to it recently. Uh, I think if you hover over it now, Dan, if you have the most recent version, it should give you the tooltip of the value. Um, but right. we put in this English description, make it a little bit easier to discern. Um, it's all configurable. It's a filter like everything else. By the way, guys, every go to our download page because we have posted a new beta. It's the latest and greatest. It'll have the uh, the latest in our paper trading, which Dan will talk about. It has this functionality. And so so please do, because we just posted that. Okay, is, Brad, do I need to do that or do I have that one? No, I think you do. I think you have it. The tooltip showed up, so you should be good. Okay. Brad's got to keep an eye on me. But one of the things I love, and, and I think we touched upon this maybe last week, again, because I probably had the very early version, is that we've humanized the data so that regardless of, uh, of the stock, notice here, Z-I-X-I, -I, and we are in earning seasons, Barry's favorite season. And notice on Halloween post market that 0.75 is is the end of the day. So again, if you're going to configure a strategy for, you know, some sort of an earnings based filter, you can understand how it's done numerically, because 6.75 days from now is 6.75 trading days from now. So it's October 31st post market. And we do have an earnings channel as well. Of course, of course. Um, here we have October. This is another one that's PayPal, by the way. Notice. And let me change this to include pre and post market. Here you go, PayPal. So PayPal and Tesla both reported earnings, did very well after market. And here you have it. Okay. Are there any questions so far? Because, well, this is this is simple stuff, but you must get this so that you're in the know. And Brad, um, are we, we're going to be adding a tooltip in the stocks, right? That says earnings in X days or something like that, right? Yeah, we're, it's not so much a tooltip, but a little messaging flag that'll be on the chart when uh, when it's within a certain time period from the earnings date. Correct. So we're really dialing all this in, making sure that you are getting the clearest information. So as Brad said, Tesla and PayPal, both blew away earnings, did really good. And um, uh, also a reminder that we have an insider uh, tab. 
It lets you know insider buys and sells, and you can filter this information. But you can just see who's doing what, how, why, what are the total numbers. This is just another piece of data, and you can tell if the insiders are buying or selling, or and, and, or you can start saying, did the insider? What is insider information that critical? You know, people are like, insiders follow them, but well, you know, here these guys have been selling all the while it's been going down, and here they blew away earnings. So not all the time do insider does insider information indicate trend. Let's switch to another channel real quick, because again, we've been on the after hours channel, which is where you find after hours movement. But here we have an earnings calendar. It's an earnings channel. Okay. And um, let me switch this. Now, the interesting thing is, uh, and Brad, this is kind of one of these conundrum type of things, right? So. Tesla today, let me just go over here and I'm going to, I'm not going to include the pre and post market. I just want to show you guys. So notice, Brad, what do you notice? You notice, well, I noticed that I noticed that the top list is frozen at the end of the day, right? So you're, you're, you're at the close. So you're not going to get something like Tesla in this particular window. Um, after hours for reporting. Right, I want to because, make that change. So that's because it's because what does this thing say? Up with earnings today, but you're watching it during market hours for the most part. Yeah. Right. Now, Brad, are we going to change that? We could easily. Yeah, and you could change it right now. You know, you could so right click on it. And... Let's right click. And... Not on the header. You got to go in the grid. There you go. That's my buddy. Bonjour. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to add. So I'm going to go and search for the word change. Notice all the different changes that we have. The, that I mean, this is a good example of just seeing how much we allow you to do. And then, of course, it helps if you know how to click on it. Okay, so check this out. Change post market percentage. You guys see that? Even change previous day. So I'm going to show the column. Hit OK. But but you're going to you're going to want to do one other thing. I know. I know. So Brad, what am I going to want to do? You're going to want to go to your time frame. No no. Go ahead and cancel out of your config. You go right back into that. Go to time frame. And now you're going to want to say live always. So this is just looking at the market hours. Now it's looking at always. And then instantly what pops up at the top? Tesla. He's so good. And today, you know, he was doing that to me today during market hours. We were working on something. And he's like, no, 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 son. Young man. Go to the right click. I was like, oh, it's like my dad's showing me how to throw a baseball. And sometimes it's a good way to learn through a little comedy routine, right? Guys, there's nobody better in comedy than Brad and I. But but the truth of the matter is, right? Sometimes you get comfortable in your own routine, Brad, and you don't realize how powerful the tech is. You really don't. In fact, in fact, right click, um, set record count is to 100. Okay. What if I change that to 20? You'll get 20. You'll get 20, but, 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 um, where to go? How come, can you explain why Tesla is not in here? Yeah, so let's, uh, let's go into the configuration of this. Let's understand what we're looking at. We're looking at something up with earnings today. Um, let's go into the sort. Let's see what we have there with the sort. And this is our server sort. So we don't really care about the earnings date as much because they're going to be more than 10 stocks that had earnings today. So that's not really a good server side filter. So I should um, change it to this perhaps. Sure. Change from the close is probably a great one because you're going to be now pulling in the biggest guys. There it is. And instantly. 
there's always a reason. You just need to open up a window and see exactly, you know, what filters may be present that would be holding something like that back. Or, but more often than not, it's really one of the powerful features of the of the top list window. It's not just a ranked list of stocks. It's really there's a it's a, there's a whole mouthful. It's a multivariant sorting color color assisted multivariant sorting. I think that's it right, right. there. We were trying to get a is. patent word, but the patent people didn't understand what we were doing. <laughs> Don't let that diminish it at all. Right. So what I was trying to show you before is that you can set up this window um, and really dial it in to like the top 10 biggest post-market uh, gainers. Right. I mean, that's what I just did. In essence. Yeah. And by the way, you know, you could also ratchet it up if you wanted to bring in 500 or a thousand. You could do that. I, I wouldn't recommend doing it if you had a bunch of windows open. But if it's something you really wanted to, you could do that. So but here again, screen, we're yeah. we're looking at these. Uh, we're looking at a way to customize your view. And I said 10, you know, just show you what it looks like with 15. Here you got you got the Tesla, PayPal. Um, they're right up there. The the two of the you know the the big ones that we were talking about, and of course you want to include the post market data. So what we're trying to sh share is that is that in this lesson today, what we're showing you is, is much you know Brad you know how we love talking about golf right because we're such amazing golfers. I mean I so am. Relevant, you're, right? you're getting there slowly with a little more practice and Barry once before somebody broke his back he took a swing a club in Canada only not in America it's but just a memory now though it's just a memory now a fading memory that Barry has but the point of the matter what makes golf so interesting is that there are so many different ways ultimately to get to the hole in a few strokes you got a guy like Bubba Watson, he can get there, you know, just with the driver off the fairway, like I like to do, Brad. You know that. Similar that, thing. Right. It's, he's got that kind of a thing. But here we're showing you that kind of approach. Do you go sometimes though, knowing how you do things, maybe you don't want to hit the driver off the fairway, you want to use a three wood or possibly a five iron for more control. So that's what we are showing you here is that there's these levels of control within the software that exist that if you explore more, you will get more out of it. Okay. Now, so does anyone have any questions on the earnings, uh, on the new earnings information that we have it in English, that you're able to see it in the various ways, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Because I want to jump back to the AI and then I want to get to some other stuff. I don't have all day. Bonjour. No questions. No, oh God, you guys are so quiet. I love it. Maybe, maybe they're mesmerized, Brad. Is that what it is? Okay. So, we talked about. Um, hold on one moment here. So we talked about MLM. Okay this amazing trade and then talked about the psychological ramifications of not not taking this signal and maybe again getting back in but ultimately if you just are a bag holder where you just hold it right it's not always going to end up um, in the mode of Tesla and PayPal in fact I would say that the Tesla PayPal scenario is usually the opposite of what most of the time happens. A lot of times the market just gives it to you. But, but, I want to talk about opportunities here, right? Of course I do. Um, and where is this? The, this guy right here. Oh, goodness gracious. Let me uh, get back in to this. And what I want to do is I want to add... Okay, so you can go into the AI and you too can, can modify your view mode. Now, I'm modifying the view mode by going risk on percent, just so you can see what they are, and full risk, um, full risk profit percentages. Okay, so let's take a look. 
So the biggest percentage gainer, now Brad showed you the AVDL because that we did that, we discussed that that one afterwards. Whoops, I, I, sorry, I'll, I'll get to this one too, which, which by the way was also beautiful. But this one where you buy, awesome if you got out of it in uh, risk off mode, by the way, Brad, was, would have been great. And then great if you held it and actually got out close to here. I mean, it was kind of in your direction the whole time. We talked about how that doesn't always happen, right? But talking about a tale of two cities or a tale of two trades or multiple trades, Brad, look at this one right here. You know, and, and here's what I want to uh, talk about in terms of the AI. What, Brad, do you know what this is right here? As a matter of fact, I do. Um, what is that's, it? Your, that, that's a re-entry signal, which would, which would populate if, in fact, you were stopped out of the trade in one of the profit modes. And if you were stopped out of it and then the stock retraced a certain percentage, then you're presented with that idea to get back into it. Right. And in this case, your re-entry at 1027, let's take a look at that was somewhere. Yep, right about there. Right right that big green. Here. That would have worked out all right. So notice that we're trying to get the software to help you think through some things, right? Which brings me back to SUNW. So here you had an entry point at 326. And after a little bit of consolidation, it ran up to 359, which was a pretty decent percentage point move. Okay, pulled back, tested highs, and then really started to come off hard. Okay, this is where <laughs> you might have been fairly like distraught that you didn't a take a little profit. panicky if you were watching it, right? Possibly a little bit, by the way, nowhere near the stop, right? Nowhere near it. And then look what happens here at the last hour where it runs all the way back up to highs of the day. So what I'm trying to show you guys is that through like what, what the AI is trying to do when it's doing like it's processing right now is it's working through all this math to try to figure out the prevailing trends and the prevailing trends are simply mathematical footprints of what the most likely outcome will be. Since we can't really jump into our DeLorean, hit 88 miles per hour and go back to the future. Yet. Or can we, Brad? Yet. Yet. We can only guesstimate, but here we're showing you that the software does a pretty darn good job of being, to, of being able to guesstimate the prevailing winds the prevailing trends. This is the reason why a lot of people use this technology, okay? It's because we are better at identifying the overall force that is heading in the direction of the stock trade. Now, a lot of times that force isn't visible, you know? It's not, it's, it's not something that you can see necessarily with the naked eye. Absolutely, so notice here, Again, um, MLNT. Now this is, let me go to risk, full risk. So if you held everything, Brad, remind me again, cause you know, I'm a young guy. You're an older guy, I'm a young guy. Why is MLNT here twice? It's because it's, we got into yeah, it. Well, look right? over, look over, yeah. You had two different entry signals through two different strategies. So you're very far column in that AI strategy trades window is telling you which strategy generated that idea. So they were just two different strategies, two different times, same symbol. Right, and if you basically just, this, the reason this is such a big loser in the same stock in essence is because look what happened here. Notice how you got stopped out, but full risk does not take stops into consideration. Whereas, and look at the interesting, you know, I, I, here's where it's confusing is that the entry price was the same, right? That's where it yeah. became a little confusing, but absolutely, that's just random. That's just, and, and not, yeah, it's not on purpose. 
But I'm trying to show you that in reality, this one bad one was actually a pretty good one because we talked about what had happened here before. Um, here's another example, okay, where in full risk, this is where we are, full risk mode and why you should pay attention to the stops. I mean, we talk about risk management, guys. Risk management is more important than stock selection and every single stock that you have from trade ideas it has these parameters for you you have a gameplay like for example if you're playing fantasy football or whatever it is you've got a game plan for every single stock every single stock okay you have your stock price and of course you have the re-entries okay they don't always work also, but the idea is that if it starts heading back in your direction, you can get back in. Once again. So, so the idea is that we're doing everything possible within our wherewithal to have you not miss it. You know, so we're doing two really difficult things. Number one, we're making calls where, which, where nobody else, no vendor is making calls, okay? They're not keeping track of the call so you can see where we're doing good or bad. And because we have actual database technology, we're getting you back into it. Um, notice also that it's not just a, a, a crapshoot of one direction where we're only going long and closing our eyes and hoping. Here's a beautiful short. And this one, much like the AVDL here, um, I mean, the, it just went your way the whole way. Love it when it works like this. So we're trying to demonstrate what it is that's behind the circus, behind the scenes, okay? So are there any questions about all of this? Because I'm gonna jump into the next thing, which is a really big thing. Um, you guys really wanna get your notebook out for this one. Wait, too many questions, Brad. <laughs> Okay, so let me close this up and bring in my good old fashioned buddy, my paper trading brokerage plus. Okay, so guys, this is our paper trading technology. What we are doing is we're allowing you guys to practice much like a professional golfer practices at the range where they can hit balls and, you know, practice technique without having to a play a full round. And at the same time, um, learn, get feedback. Feedback is a critical component of successful trading. I mean, if you aren't getting proper feedback, you're really, not learning anything, which is one of the biggest problems with investing and active self money management, okay? Is that you don't know how to get feedback and we're gonna solve this problem for you. But, but here's what I'm gonna tell you, cause we're gonna ratchet it up. Scott, by the way, don't get too excited cause you should be excited about what I'm gonna say. Barry, you too. Hold your Canadian self back here in Canada. All right. So as you guys know, we are allowing you now to practice trade. These are paper trading positions that I am swing trading. I'm working my portfolio. You can see what's happening. Today's PL, total PL. You know, you can kind of see what's today, what's open, the exposure. You know, I'm short some, long some, et cetera. But we're really going to get into kind of like a a new business model that is catered to doing something wonderful for you in a number of ways. Every week, and this is the plan right now, and obviously I'm just giving you guys, because you're at the Q&A session with your CEO, Pierre, and his buddy, Brad, you're getting some of the stuff that you would want from this type of Q&A session, which is the insider information. So very shortly, when we launch this paper trading mode and start promoting it, we are going to position ourselves to become kind of the draft kings for the FanDuel 
champions of the stock market. Let me explain how we plan on doing this. Every week, for those people that want to participate, there will be a stock trading, paper trading challenge. And the idea is that you will be able to paper trade, whether day trading, whether swing trading. We might actually, Brad, split it into, I don't know yet, but for now, just imagine one. It doesn't matter how you get there. And it's a week-long competition, and it runs every week, Monday through Friday, okay? And you get to paper trade. I think there's going to be a maximum of 20 paper trades per day, and there's going to be some rules where, you know, you're not going to be trading like a stock that's one cent where you're shooting for 100% on a one cent stock. There's just, again, we're going to set up some rules, et cetera. But the idea is that the winner of this uh, paper trading competition will actually receive $500. And this game is free to everyone that is a trade ideas customer that wants to participate in the game. Um, Vladimir, exposure means how much money are you spending on that position? So that's what that means. In other words, if you were spending money on this position, that's how much it costs to get into this many shares of that stock. So every week we're gonna run a game, much like FanDuel or DraftKings. And the beauty is, again, you'll be able to trade any stocks for the most part that you want. And the winner will be awarded $500. And we plan on doing this every week. So every week there'll be a chance for you to win the $500. All the winners will be automatically put into the grand finale, which will happen every year at year end, where we run a month long trading competition in December. And the winner of that will receive anywhere up to uh, potentially $10,000. How you like them apples? But the beauty is this, if you didn't win, you'll still be able to buy into that competition for 500 bucks. So 500 to buy in, 10,000 is the prize. So that's the, that's the end of the year competition. And during the year, every week, there's gonna be a $500 game that everyone will be able to participate in. And you know, obviously disclaimers, it's all paper trading, so it's not real stocks. You'll, everyone, there'll be different stocks competing with different stocks. You'll be able to go long, you'll be able to go short, all that good stuff. There's going to be rules. Um, in a very, we're also obviously revamping the website. Uh, you guys don't know that, but Scott's been doing an amazing amount of work getting all of that done. There's going to be a new accounts page, and you'll create a paper trading username. So it's not going to be your account name so that you can keep that private if you want. But you'll be able to have a username for paper trading and we're gonna show people who are the winners. So like during the week, you'll be able to see like, here's this guy, he's up this for many percent on this many trades. So people will be able to see who's winning, who's losing, and there'll be some of these things like how much exposure they're in. There are also potentially different brackets, like for example, because we're trying to get this stuff not to just simply have people whack at it, but for example, there'll be maybe one game where the equity is, Fifty thousand dollars, so that you know, it, it, so that you can really learn something and not just hack away at it. So maybe twenty-five thousand uh, max uh, buying power gain for the lower price stocks, maybe fifty thousand for so that again, it simulates more of the real environment and obviously and, and margin. So th that's what's coming up, guys. Uh, money gain off of paper trades that we pay to you and premium standard subscribers who get access to paper trading will be able to participate in that game and win $500 every single week. Win that three times, you've paid for your trade ideas. Win that once, you've already <laughs> done a pretty good job of, uh, of having your subscription money. It's almost like we're doing the invert, like, you know, Brad, and I joke, but not joke, you know all the brokers went commission free, right? Yeah, a good number of them. Right. You know soon they're going to be paying you to trade. <laughs> well, you Come know they here. Are a we'll give you something. Well, we're actually doing it in, in, in a competitive, good way. You know, it's a competition. It's it's based on paper trading, and there'll be rules. So, for example, one one thing too is that 
to avoid people gaming this stuff, there's going to be minimum time requirements so that you get into a trade, you can't exit the trade for it to count unless it's minimum 30 minutes, maybe even an hour. You know, and again, potentially as we as we experience this more, there'll be more games going on. So there's be one league or one game that's all intraday. Some of it will be swing, you know, uh, things like that. Entire professions yeah. will be will right. be great. Yeah, huh? <laughs> um, and these are things that we can do because we're not a broker dealer, whereas broker dealers are obviously under much more regulation and scrutiny. So this is uh, what's happening. This is what's on the table. We're kind of transforming this trade idea experience, not only to one where you're simply getting trade ideas, but now you can actually make real money. Okay. I mean, it's not a gigantic amount of money, but it's $500 a week. So and possibly, Brad, as this gets moving, you know, into the future, there'll be handicaps and, you know, like if, if the same guy keeps winning, we'll have to figure something out. I mean, I doubt that will happen because so many different people will participate. But the bottom line, guys, this is where we're moving the industry. So this paper trading is not simply just, you know, like everyone else's paper trading. This paper trading is a full gamification, the fan duel, the draft kings of the stock market. Um, it'll help you to really give the proper feedback. It's as if you've got your um, golf coach with you the whole time, but or maybe to some extent, it's a combination of that, Brad, and the long drive competition, right? I mean, you're not playing golf, but you're you're hitting the ball and you're getting paid if you win. So yeah, I mean, there are a lot of great benefits, and then ultimately, it, it does help you as a real trader, as someone that wants to to get into this and understand what what type of exposure they should put themselves in to feel comfortable with their portfolio and their account size and such. So there's a lot of relevance to it as well. So it's a lot of fun, but uh, it it really will allow someone to be able to trade live money, you know, without with a nice learning curve to it. Yeah, it, it makes the paper trades a lot more relevant if you're participating in the game because there's real financial ramifications now to your paper gains or losses because you can win the $500. And that's going to be every single week. So um, that's where we're at. That's what we wanted to communicate. That's what I'm going to be talking about. in. Uh, that's what I plan on talking about during the my small, small segment of the um, show that we have October 26th Summit. in San Diego. Um, Brad's beautiful slides, more of the same, you know, just talking about all the different things that you can do. Um, one of the things I love about this is, remember, we talked about the fact that there's a game plan for everything. You've got a swing exit, you got a smart stop, you got a profit target, any stock your map is computer mapped out okay nobody else has this um the other big thing that that's kind of going to go hand in hand with this is we're fully going to transform the price alerts into a mobile messaging system where you're going to be able to get these messages about your price alerts over text over phone and eventually, very shortly thereafter, there's going to be probably a $17 product, uh, $17 per month, that's very limited, but only geared to uh, these uh, triggers so that you can see information, get notified, and then if you want to still participate in the paper trading games, even over mobile. So during mobile, you'll be able to track your portfolio on the phone and all that kind of good stuff. So there's going to be a lot more stuff that we're going to be talking about in terms of how this all works, but this is where we're going. Odds maker, you know, Brad, and I, and I don't know if, uh, uh, if anyone's ever thought of that, about this, but, you know, people think that perhaps all they have to do is just to pay for trade. They've got to sit there and bang away at it all night long. Not necessarily. Number one, you can trade Holly in paper mode. So in theory, she could do some winning for you. You know that, right? I do. If you're on premium. Mm -hmm. Number two, you can on premium design your own back testing strategy and uh, have it be run on autopilot. That's another thing you can do and have that participate in the paper trading mode. 
Very soon, we're going to be adding capabilities for you to virtually optimize a strategy that you create automatically, kind of like what we do with our AI. So there's just all these transformative things that are happening. Like imagine you, we could set up a thing for you that, I mean, I'm really oversimplifying it, but we can set up a thing for you that says, okay, give me the strategy to trade Apple, you know, and potentially we'll give you one where it'll give you signals during the day on Apple and that's it. So lots of different styles will be incorporated here and uh, incredible things coming. Um, of course, you already can have automated trading with Brokerage Plus and Interactive Brokerage, and we're moving to work with other brokers as well very, very soon. So here we go, our summit, October 26th, San Diego, at the atop the Symphony Towers. And uh, 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 Scott, are, do we still have any tickets left? I don't even know, because, um, you know, I, I don't know. No, no it's uh, just a live stream. Okay, so we're already sold out for the tickets. Now, just the live stream. And if you want to do that, trade-ideas.com forward slash live stream. We, again, we really encourage you guys because we're not great speakers. I'm just one of them. And I will be speaking French the whole time, but there will be probably a translator there. Brad, are you the translator? I'm not sure. I hope not for our French speaking friends. Um, you a chance to win $500 a week. Um, this is how much it costs uh, on a per day basis. Uh, I think it's a, a half foot long Subway sandwich and a Coke, something like that. So really think about how cheap we are compared to everything else. Okay. And if, you, if it is kind of amazing stuff, uh, Here's your promo code, Harvest Wins, and you get 15% off your first month or 15% off the whole year of trade ideas. Barry, who probably had fainted from my uh, $500 <laughs> announcement, is, has been revived slowly but surely in Canada, and tomorrow he will be excited and telling his people in the trading room all the good stuff that's happening. I'm sure a lot of those guys will be participating, but the only thing is you gotta be a customer. You can't be like a window shopper to participate. That's the rule. Um, but Barry runs an amazing trading room every single day. He's uh, whipping his people into shape, making sure that they're not putting all the, you know, dirty pictures like they do have on every other uh, trading room out there. None on ours. Good man, Barry. Check it out, please. Trade-ideas.com forward slash trading room. Barry's the lead moderator. An amazing meritocracy of very good Trade Ideas users. Um, I'm sure you guys are all subscribers to this, but our good buddy Jamie Hodge, my assistant, one of my many assistants, who does not speak any French, and I, uh, we do our Trade Ideas Friday podcast, and uh, we talk about very similar things like what you just heard today, the up-and-coming things that you're not going to hear about unless you're kind of keeping your ear to the microphone of the and finding where the CEO speaks and here you have it. I mean, because you guys attended the Q&A, you can spread the word and be aware of what's going on and start using that paper trading and practicing so that your stuff starts to put a dent into the $500 coffers. But hopefully search this up, subscribe, and you'll get our uh, Trade Ideas podcast, which we're not doing this week because of our event. Lots of information to help you get started. Trade-ideas.com forward slash setup, all sorts of free books, lots of great trade ideas. Um, employees contribute to that over a thousand years i think steve gomez says we have a trading uh experience i don't think he said a thousand yeah it's hard to say dog years <laughs> you know close. close very experienced people that's for sure right but please if you are new please take a look and while i am completely banned from social media because of my antics we have lots of Trade Ideas uh, employees who are still active on social media and have not been banned. The three that I can see are at Trade Ideas, at QuantBot, and Today Trader. All of those people have not yet been banned from social media. Please like us on Facebook. We appreciate that. And of course, you can always send us an email at info at trade-ideas.com or use that phone number to get in touch with us. 
Um, lots of exciting things happening, and we hope to see you uh, either on the live stream or at, our, or at our event this weekend. Scott, that's all we got. Sounds good. And remember, we'll be uh, monitoring the hashtag Trade Ideas Summit during the live stream and uh, getting questions together for the Active Traders panel from the live stream participants. So keep that in mind. Um, keep an eye out for this recording tomorrow. Uh, and uh, that's about it. Thanks all. That's it. Thank you very much, everybody. Take care.